Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from Carwow. I'm sat in a BMW M340i Touring. Next to me is an Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Next to that is my daily driver, Mercedes AMG A45S. And we are gonna have a drag race. Let me give you the stats on these cars. This BMW has a three litre straight six with a single turbo and it pumps out 374 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox driving all four wheels and it weighs in at 1,745 kilos. The cost of this car starts from 50,000 pounds. That Alfa Romeo has a 2.9 litre twin turbo V6 and it pushes out 510 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. It's also got an eight speed automatic gearbox with all-wheel drive that being an SUV it is a bit heavier it weighs in at 1830 kilos and being the top of the range Stelvio the Quadrifoglio the full fat performance model it's quite expensive 73,000 pounds finally then we come to the little Mercedes it has a two litre four cylinder engine with a single turbo but it still pumps out 421 horsepower so it's more powerful than this BMW it has the same 500 newton meters of torque though and in the smallest car, it's the lightest, 1,635 kilos, which is still quite heavy for a hot hatchback. Well, an uber hot hatchback. It has an eight-speed automatic gearbox with dual clutches and four-wheel drive. Price-wise, though, it's quite expensive, 56,000 pounds. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens, especially as I've got some guest drivers in the cars. I'm gonna introduce you to the one in the Alpha. It is my mother, Sally Watson. Hello, Mum. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Do you know much about your car? Do you know what kind of performance it's got? What engine it's got? Oh, it's um, Seat Leon FR. I think it's... Um, That's her own car. It goes quite quickly. I was actually talking about the car you sat in now, not the one that you own. I know nothing at all about this car that I'm sitting in other than it's an Alfa Romeo SUV. I gave you the chance to choose which car to go in and out of the three, you chose the Stelvio. Why was that? Firstly, because it was an Alfa, and they're the supremely beautiful Italian jobs. But secondly, because it's an SUV. And I hunger for an SUV. It's lovely being up high here. See how high I am? I don't think that's gonna make you go any faster, but you do get a good view out, especially when you're a shorty. So. You can see over the bonnet of this car now, can't you? Yes, I, I did start off by looking through the steering wheel, you know, that little gap. Then you figured out where the seat controls are, and, and now you're all fine, yeah? I'm fine, I'm all set to go. Just want to check one thing. Is your car in race mode? Yeah. And you know how to launch it, yeah? Yes, I think so, yes. Okay, you don't sound too confident. We'll soon find out <laughs> when we get going. Okay, let's move on to the driver of the Mercedes, and it's my girlfriend, Jo. Hi, Jo, you all right? Hello, I'm good, thanks. So after my mum had picked the Alpha last night, you then chose, out uh, of the BMW and the Mercedes, the Mercedes. Why? Because I've driven it before. I know it's quick and it's little. Do you think it's going to beat me in this BMW? I don't know because I think you've been up to your old tricks and probably picked the fastest car but I'll give it my best shot. I don't do that come on guys actually let them choose the cars because I know what you're like you'd be like oh Matt always picks the fastest car which isn't true because I don't win every race do I? Anyway they got to choose their cars that's what they went for so who do you think is going to win mum? Me of course me. <laughs> Confident. I suspect that your car will win, actually, you or, or Joe, only because I think this is a heavy beast. Okay, we're gonna find out. Right, now before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, that way you won't miss a single upload. Right, let's get on with the race. Put this down. Actually, before we get on with the race, guys, we're gonna do a sound check and I'm gonna start off with my car and all I'm gonna do is just rev it up like a boy racer. <laughs> We'll find out which car sounds the best. Couldn't really hear that over here. All right, all right, we'll find out what your Mercedes is like in a bit. Let's hear the Alpha first. Go on, Mum, rev it up. That sounds lovely. Go on, do a bit more. Come on, don't be shy. She does this all the time back home, just at the lights, always annoying people. It's embarrassing. That sounded really good, actually, better than this BMW. Go on then, Joe, put your money where your mouth is. You thought your Mercedes was gonna sound better than this BMW. I don't think so, but give it a go. Okay. Mm. 
Are you revving it? Mum, can you hear anything coming from her car? I can, just, but it's quite a delicate little sound. Hey, Sally, you're meant to be on my side. <laughs> I am on your side. I think it has got hidden power. <laughs> Definitely got hidden power. Let's just get on with this race. Enough blooming chat. Let's actually find out which is the quickest. Three. I'm nervous for them. Two. But I also want to win. One. Mum, I'm totally jumped the start. Oh. That's right, stop. You jumped the start, mother. You're a bit eager there, mother. <laughs> right, you ready? Should we try this again? Did your start feel good other than being a bit too early, mother? Yes, it felt fine. I did it when her hands were at the top. She hadn't started to drop them, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, you're almost there. It's like split seconds and I can tell you competitive, which is good. Let's do it again. Three, two, one. Off we go. This is off quick, it's between me and the, oh, the Mercedes. Come on. I've got to beat him. Wait, my mum's coming! <laughs> my mum's coming back at me! Oh my god, can I beat her? Win for the Mercedes. Joe got a good start. Mum, not so much. Hey mum, how was your start? If I'd put any more on the throttle, it was starting to wriggle forwards. Let's just do it one more time. See if you can get a slightly better start, maybe leave a little bit earlier. I think you're just fine to jump in the start now, that's all. Good up for you, Joe. I bet you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> you got a good launch. Much better without you in the car with me. One. More boys, go. Two right, oh. oh no. We were just um, busy conversing <laughs> while the sky was too busy looking happening. at the blooming boost. <laughs> do you want to give my mum another go? See if she can do a bit better. Maybe she'll be able to beat me as well. Do you want to try it? I'm definitely willing to have another go. Three. Maybe this is just an excuse for me to try and have another go and beating Joe. Maybe. Two. One. Oh, got a better start then. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's coming back. Come on. Is my mum going to come back? No. This is closer this time. <laughs> you had me again, Joe. No, it was closer. <laughs> Only a little bit closer. I think I had a better start then. I beat you off the line. This is fast once it gets going. I did it properly that time, actually. It was just at the point where it was starting to go. I got it right. I wouldn't be able to do it any better than that. You're starting to get a feel for it now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. I like being a pie. <laughs> she keeps forgetting to press the orange button on the bloody walkie-talkie. Keep forgetting to press the orange button. So then, what exactly happened? Well, once everybody got a clean start, the Mercedes won, completing the standing quarter mile in 12.2 seconds. The BMW was second, finishing in 12.3 seconds, and the Alpha took 12.6 seconds, which is a bit slower than we've had out of that car before. But we'll forgive my mother, as she's 72. Right, now we have a rolling race. From 50 miles an hour, the cars are in comfort mode. Automatic mode for the gearbox as well. I'm going to count it in. So get level, Mum. Come on, move forward a bit. Move forward a bit. Forward a bit more, Mum. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Go! Floor it. Oh, that Mercedes just shot off. <laughs> now comes the Alpha. Oh, I think you, you backed off then, didn't you, Mum? 
This thing is brilliant. I want one. I think you should have that one. Mercedes, can Joe have the AMG A45S, please? She loves it. Right, now we're gonna do a rolling race again, but this time we've got the cars in their sportiest setting. I've got this car in manual mode. Joe's got her car in manual mode. My mum is still staying in auto because she says she can't operate the paddles and drive at the same time. She's 70 odd. So we'll forgive her. I'm just telling people that you don't want to use the paddles and it's because you're over 70. Now there's some people who are over 70 who are going to take offense at that, but you don't want to use the paddles, do you? No, I would be able to do it, but I'd need to practice. I've never been very good at paddling. If it was a gear stick, I'd be fine. Here we go, come on, Joe, get level with her. Come on, that's perfect. Here we go. Three, two, one. Floor it. It's picked up good. Oh, that Alpha's going. I'm getting blooming thrashed by them here. I think that Alpha might catch the Mercedes. Go on, Mum. My mum is doing like 150 mile an hour. Yeah, that's it, that's good. You won that then, Joe. Again, another win for the Mercedes. Brilliant, this little thing. How was your car, Mum? Was it all right? Yeah, it was really good. It held the Mercedes. Yeah, and you soon came past me as well. Do you know how quick you were going towards the end there before you braked? No. How fast was I going? I think it was getting on for 150 miles an hour, if not, maybe more. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> she doesn't care, really. <laughs> right, brake test. When we hit the line, full emergency stop. You're backing off, Mum. Don't back off yet. Here's the line. <laughs> then she went on. <laughs> yeah, Mum. What happened? Sars, I thought you were going to say stop. No, don't say stop. It's when you reach the line. Let's try this again then. Come on then, get level. Doing a good job, Mum. Here comes the line. It. It, apart from Joe! <laughs> that is the last go. Reason being, Joe, you've won everything else. It's your fault for messing up the brake test. <laughs> How did I mess it up? I braked as soon as I hit the line. You did a good job there, Mum. Was that good? Were you satisfied with that? I think I'm at an advantage over the little low car because I'm up high so I can see the line easier, quicker, more in perspective. That's very sportsmanlike of you to say that to make Joe feel better. Rather than going, Joe, I think you're just late on the braking, I'm afraid. Oh well. You've won two in the Mercedes, you came second in the rolling race mother and you came last in the drag race and you came second in the brake test. Are you pleased with your result? Well, I would have liked to have won something. Well, maybe you'll win next time. From here, it looks like your mum came first in the brake test and I didn't brake wrongly. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Also, let me know if you want to see my mum and Joe. keep ignoring everything I say? <laughs> it's because I'm pressing a button on the radio. I can't actually hear you, honestly. You can't talk when I'm talking. Because I'm pressing the button, so I can't hear if you press it. Once I've started talking. I think you forget to take your finger off the button. <laughs> Might be doing that on purpose. Anyway, like I was saying. It's all too technical for me, this thing and talking and stopping and lifting off the finger. Okay, I'm just going to turn this off now. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please make sure you do and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.